and one last question before we we kind of wrap up this episode um how how would you suggest presenting yourself when you're interested in taking any of these positions because obviously i think this is going to be relevant for applying to grad schools getting phds any job undergraduate research maybe even going to college what is the best way to present yourself and the experiences and the skill set you have to um, these opportunities so you can kind of you know boost your chances of getting these opportunities so whatever the opportunity is whether it is a job or graduate school the first thing you want to make sure you're clarifying is that you are a problem solver they're hiring you to solve problems even if you're applying to my graduate school, I'm expecting that you will solve problems and that you will even do something for my graduate program. You will succeed. You will do uh, excellent research, which will bring uh, reputational benefits to my department. So you want to be thinking about what problems can you solve for me? So that's the first thing. The second thing I would think about is to think about all of these different experiences that you've had working in your family's business, working in retail, being a leader in this club, uh, being uh, the, the head, the person who created the kayaking club for your university, um, being the person who uh, did the NASA uh, internship or the person who got a chance to go to this um, conference and give a poster, whatever the lived experiences that you've had, you want to be thinking about how that has strengthened you to be able to, again, solve problems for this organization. So rather than throwing these things under the rug and not mentioning that you're the leader or the president of the kayaking club, why not reference that? That as the president and the founder of the University of Michigan Kayaking Club, I was able to market the program, market this club. We attracted 100 new members within the first two years. We organized a conference for uh, 50 people uh, devoted to uh, kayaking techniques and technologies. Right. We took people on trips. I raised money. I developed relationships with sponsors. I negotiated for contracts. All of these skills helped me to be stronger in thinking about problem solving and being an effective member of a team when I'm doing astronomy. So we're going to package what we've done over here using the language over here. We're going to package what we've done over here to make it clear that this has strengthened us and made us more uh, agile as problem solvers to pro solve problems over here. Is that helpful? Yeah. Yeah. And, then, I mean, and I would say there's a third point too, and that is that the job, since, since the job search process is never about what you, the job seeker, can get from me, the decision maker, it's what you can do for mm -hmm. me. And you're always thinking about what you can do to add value. Part of the value that you're going to add is to show me why you are so excited to be a part of my organization. So that means you have to customize every single output that you have, your applications, your job applications, your research applications, your grad school applications, your grant applications. Let me know what is special about my department. Do I have a particular observatory that you want to be a part of? Do we have a team that focuses on gamma ray bursts that you want to be a part of because you think gamma ray bursts are so cool, so cool and interesting? And why why do you think that? How are you going to contribute to this team? Why will this be the place where you will be able to thrive, where you can grow your career? So talk to me about why you want me and be specific. So that's Hey, everyone. Me. Thank you for listening to this podcast episode. This is Michael. This is Sam. This is Tommy. And this is Joe. If you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to leave a review. All of the show notes can be found either in the description below or on our website. Thank you again for listening, and we'll see you next week with more Everything Astronomy.